A bill that would arm teachers in the classroom is advancing through the Iowa State House. Good afternoon, I'm Janae Town. I'm Erin Kiernan, thanks for being with us. The bill passed through a House subcommittee just this afternoon. It would allow a person to carry a weapon in a school building if that person is issued a professional permit to carry by the Department of Public Safety. WHO 13 Zach Fisher was at the meeting this afternoon. He joins us live from the State House with the latest. Zach. Yeah, Janae and Aaron, so a similar bill worked through the State House last session and actually passed through the House floor by a vote, but it never saw any action over in the Senate. Uh, the legislation would require persons who want to carry to have personal training licenses and courses as well from the DPS. There's a lot of rural school district officials and superintendents, school board officials uh, at the meeting today speaking for in favor of this legislation, asking for it to be passed. All I'm asking is to give those people a chance to go home to their families, unlike the Perry principle. Because we know once the shooter is addressed, they engage with, with us, they stop killing people. They stop killing other people. So just an idea of uh, those that were in favor of the bill, they still had several concerns. Uh, one of them was not addressing insurance. Some school districts over the last year have tried to arm teachers but are met with difficulties from insurance companies in the states so then districts would opt against it. Now students from the Des Moines Public School District were here speaking today say that this isn't going to make them feel safer. Provisions of qualified immunity to arm school personnel raises concerns about accountability and oversight, further undermining the bill's efficacy and potential for unintended consequences. As a student myself, <clears throat> I can tell you that adding more guns to schools is not going to make me safer. Making schools a war zone is not going to make me feel safer. Now a couple interesting notes from the subcommittee hearing uh, today. The NRA, uh, they're registered as undecided on it uh, as a professional training course in their opinion would make it more difficult, maybe push teachers to not have a firearm, uh, out them in some sense. The purpose of having firearms in school is, is to not know who has a firearm, so that was their concerns. The DPS was also there asking lawmakers to keep in mind that the training would uh, strain the department as well for whatever that was required, so just uh, think about that department in that sense. Now, the bill also encourages school districts with less than 8,000 employees to have a uh, professional security service or an SRO officer, and the state will match up $50,000 annually to be able to uh, fund that as, as long as the school district goes up to $50,000. Now we have a crowd building here too for a public hearing on the governor's bill that would define man, woman, uh, and sex. That's happening at five. We're gonna have live coverage on that as well. It's funnel week guys. So first deadline of the session. We'll keep you up to date today. Yeah, things always ramp up. Certainly an interesting discussion yeah. today and more to come tonight. Thanks Zach.